Original Medicare versus Medicare Advantage. How do you know which one is right for you? Let's find out. Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Wesley. I make content about Medicare, and my number one goal is to just make this as simple as I possibly can so that a fifth grader can understand it. And in this video today, we're going to talk about three things that you need to consider when you're deciding between Original Medicare versus Medicare Advantage. So let's not waste any more time and let's dive in. So the first thing to consider when deciding between Original Medicare and Medicare Advantage is your doctor and hospital choices. With Original Medicare, you can go to any doctor and hospital in the U.S. that takes Medicare, and you don't need a referral most of the time to go see a specialist. However, with Medicare Advantage, you do need to stay within the plan's network and stay within the plan's hospitals that are in that network. And each one of those networks is based on the service area that you live in. You also do need, in most cases, get referral for going to see a specialist. Original Medicare may give you more freedom of choice when deciding between who you want to see and who you want to take care of you for your health needs. However, don't disregard Medicare Advantage out completely now because a lot of the doctors that you may want are also going to be contracted with Medicare Advantage plans in your service area. You just got to check and do a little digging to find out for sure. So Original Medicare covers most most medically necessary services performed by doctors and hospitals, as does Medicare Advantage. In fact, Medicare Advantage not only covers the exact same stuff that original Medicare does, it offers even more. This is where you see those TV commercials with all the benefits on TV. Those are Medicare Advantage plans. So they'll offer the same as original Medicare, but the plans will give you things like hearing benefits, vision benefits, dental benefits, and a lot of them even have Part D prescription benefits built into the plans themselves. This is something that original Medicare does not offer. If you wanted to go to the dentist or get your ears or eyes checked or get prescription drug coverage, you would have to seek a additional insurance to have those same services that are all included in a Medicare Advantage plan. So to sum it up, Medicare Advantage does the same thing as original Medicare when it comes to coverage wise, plus a lot more. The third thing to consider when deciding between Original Medicare and Medicare Advantage is cost. And this is probably the number one thing for most people is how much is it really going to cost me out of pocket? That's what everyone wants to know. So before we jump into that, I think there are three things we also need to dissect a little bit further. The first one is a copay. Second one is coinsurance, and the third one is deductible. Now, a copay is a fixed amount. It basically is like, let's say you go to see the doctor and you have to pay $5 every time you see the doctor. That would be a copay. Coinsurance would be a percentage amount, let's say 20% of the cost of a service. So let's say you have an MRI and the MRI costs $1,000 and you have 20% coinsurance. That means you would be responsible to pay $200 for the total cost of that MRI, which is billed at $1,000. And then finally, we have deductible. And a deductible is the amount that you must pay, that you must meet financially before your insurance kicks in full time and starts working for you. An example. Of this would be in 2023, Original Medicare Part A has a $1,600 deductible and Part B is a $226 deductible. Now, those costs must be met before Medicare will start kicking in that 20% co-insurance that you would be responsible for afterwards. Now with Medicare Advantage, you are still responsible for making sure that your Part A premium, which for most people is $0, is paid, as well as your Part B premium, which is $164.90 in 2023, is paid. However, each carrier that offers a plan in your area can have a different deductible. In most areas, though, the deductible is zero. So you're only responsible for your Part B premium, and then your deductible, if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, most likely is $0 per year compared to original Medicare, which would be $1,600. Another thing to consider when costs comes into play between Original Medicare and a Medicare Advantage is the max out of pocket. Now with Original Medicare, there isn't one. In fact, you can rack up a really high bill with Original Medicare. Most Medicare Advantage plans on the other end do have a max out of pocket, meaning you would not spend any more than that plan says is the allowed max for the year. Now in my area in Southern California, most people I see enroll into a plan that has a $499 a year max out of pocket. So that means they have $0 deductible to worry about and they only have a max of you know $500 per year that they would spend on health coverage. Comparing that with original Medicare, you know, it's pretty clear to see who wins on when it comes down to cost being the number one factor in the decision making process. Now to summarize, every situation is unique and every person is unique and, and the area you live in in America is the most important thing to consider when looking at a Medicare Advantage plan because they are all county based. However, if you're just comparing original Medicare versus Medicare Advantage and cost, Medicare Advantage typically has a much lower cost for the average person per year than having just original Medicare. Before I wrap this video up, guys, if you found any value in the content that I am presenting, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get updated when I release new videos about Medicare. And in addition, please be sure to check out the links in the description where I will provide resources to things that may be of benefit and use to you while you're researching what to do with your Medicare plan. And lastly, be sure to get your copy of my book, which you can find via Amazon, which covers 15 actionable steps to cut your prescription costs 
going into 2023, 2024, 2025 before the Inflation Reduction Act kicks in. Prescription costs are going to be on the rise. If you find yourself in one of these situations where a prescription you need just became unaffordable, please get a copy of the book, check it out, and see what you can do to help lower your prescription costs in the next coming years. So Medicare is confusing and having a little bit of an understanding of how each part of Medicare works is absolutely advantageous when deciding which health plan is right for you. For the most part, there are very few situations which it is recommended for you to just stay enrolled in original Medicare. Most of the time, most people are going to enroll into a Medigap plan or a Medicare Advantage plan for the added protection that those offer them. And then in this video, we went over comparing original Medicare versus Medicare Advantage. And then stay tuned for future videos where I'll compare, you know, original Medicare to Medigap and Medicare Advantage to Medigap and so on and so forth. So you can have a full picture of what works for you. But for the most part, Medicare Advantage is a better fit for most people than original Medicare. Of course, you do what's best for you. Every situation is different. And if you're having trouble deciding between what is best for you, I highly recommend checking out medicare.gov using their interactive tool to talk to someone. And if you're in Southern California, you can connect with me directly and I can go over this specifically for you. And once again, guys, be sure to check out the other videos here. Check out the links in the description. And until the next video, take care.